Okay, so in this video I'm going to have a look at the 2021 Higher Level Leaving Cert Maths Paper 2, question 5. Two identical right circular solid cones meet along their bases and fit exactly inside a sphere as shown in the diagram. Prove that the volume of the remaining space inside the sphere is exactly the half volume of the sphere. What I'm going to do here is just start by putting in a radius. Uh, so let's say this is the radius here, we'll call it R. Uh, it's also going to be the radius of the cone and it's also going to be the height of the cone. So this is a right angle here. So we've got to just work on volumes here. So we've got to use our volume formula. So we know that the volume, the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. The volume of a cone is 1 third pi r squared h. We have two cones, so what we've got to do is multiply this by two. Uh, this is our total volume of the sphere. Subtract and see what we get. So let's take um, twice the volume of the cones. So that's going to be 2 over 3 pi r squared h. Now the volume, the volume of the empty space is going to be 4 over 3 pi r cubed minus 2 over 3 pi r squared h. Now you've got to remember here that h is just r. Uh, the height of the cone here is just the radius of the sphere which happens to be also the radius of the cone. So we have 4 over 3 pi r cubed minus 2 over 3 pi r squared times r is going to be r cubed. So that will give me 4 over 3 minus 2 over 3. So that's going to be 2 over 3 pi r cubed. 2 over 3 pi r cubed is half the volume half the volume of the sphere. In part two here, the combined volume of the two cones is 686 over 3 pi cubic centimeters. Find the radius of one of the cones. So the combined volume of the two cones. So in other words, 2 over 3 pi r cubed. Remember, one cone is uh, 1 third pi r squared h. The h is just r, so that, that's where the r comes from. Multiply by 2, so we get 2 over 3 pi r cubed. So that's going to be equal to 686 over 3 pi. Now the pi's will cancel, and we get 2 over 3 r cubed is, like, is equal to 686 over 3. Actually, the 3's here will cancel as well. We can multiply both sides by 3, so that will give us 2 r cubed is equal to 686 uh, divide by 2 r cubed is equal to 343 and then all we've got to do is get the cubed root of 343 and that's just 7 so 7 centimeters so the radius of one of the cones is 7 centimeters okay that's part A finished let's have a look at part B at 9 a.m. a delivery van leaves a factory. It travels towards its destination at an average speed of 60 kilometers an hour. So let's just have a look at this. We'll have a look at, let's say, van van A, and I presume there's a van B as well. I'll look at that in a second. So this is 60 kilometers per hour. One hour and 45 minutes later, a second van leaves the factory on the same route. It travels at an average speed of 95 kilometers per hour. Both vans arrive at their destination at the same time. Find what time they arrive at. L let uh, van B's time. Let van B's time equal t. That would mean that van A's time then would be t plus one hour forty-five or one point seven five one and three quarter hours plus t. That's how long it takes van A to get to the uh, destination. 
Now, if they travel and arrive at the same time, that means that the distance traveled is going to be the same for van A and van B. So remember, uh, speed is equal to distance over time, or you can use um, that silly triangle, whatever you want to do it. But we're looking for distance now. So distance is speed times time. So the distance that van A is traveling is going to be 1.75 plus t multiplied by its speed, which is 60. And that's going to be equal to the distance that van B traveled. Uh, that's going to be 95, 95 times t. So all we've got to do here really is just solve for t. That's the, the main part of this question here. So let's multiply 60 by 1.75. 60 times 1.75 is 105 plus 60t is equal to 95t. 105 is equal to 35t. And then t is equal to 105 divided by 35. That is 3. So this is going to be 3 hours. This is going to be 3 hours. Now that's the time that van B takes. The question here says find uh, at what time they both arrive. If they depart if they depart at 9 o'clock, 9 a.m., that means they both arrive at they both arrive at 9 plus 4.75 which is equal to 13 and 3 quarters or 13 45 hours. That's the answer. That's what time they arrive at. And that's it for this particular question.